Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to transform Windows 8 into Mac OS X Mountain Lion. This is a very simple process. Uh, I did the same video basically for Windows 7. I thought I'd do a updated one for Windows 8. A lot of people like the Mac look, but like Windows. So this is a bit of both. So below, there's two different downloads. One is for a 32-bit version of this installation. One is for a 64-bit. They're the exact same, except for the name right here. And they do the exact same thing, except for different, um, they work differently. So, but the installation process is the same. So you have to download the correct one in order for it to work on your system. And in order to know which one you need to download, go to your computer and click the system properties up here. Or get to this a different way. And we get to this. And right next to system type, it's going to tell you a 64-bit or a 32-bit. If yours says 64-bit, go below and download the 64-bit one. Odds are you're going to have a 64-bit computer. Most computers nowadays are 64-bit. Um, if you have an older computer with Windows 8 on it, you might have a 32-bit. So I, if it says whatever one it says, go below, match it with the download link, click that one, and download that one. So once you get in, the, once you've gotten the one that you need, so for me it's gonna be this one right here. Once you've gotten that one, go ahead and right-click it and hit Run as Administrator. You might need to enter a password if you're not the computer administrator. All right, so now we're in our installation file. So click Next. Click I Accept. You can renew if you like. Unclick these ch these tool things right here. That's basically just a toolbar. You don't really need that. If you want a credit bar, you can go ahead and click them all again. All right, so what's going to do? Um, I'll explain everything it does. So, restore point. This is going to create a restore point. I highly suggest having this one clicked. Um, this is going to, let's just say you completely hate it. For some reason, it messes your computer up. You're lost. You have no idea what to do. You can go back in time using a new restore point. And it's going to create the restore point exactly right before um, it does anything else. Next thing it's going to do is patch it for your computer. If your computer's already patched, it's going to repatch it again. No harm there. It's just going to patch it. You can use third-party themes. Icons is pretty self-explanatory. We're doing some icons. The theme, wallpaper, cursors, the finder bar, which is going to be our um, toolbar at the top. Um, kind of like the Mac one where you kind of, instead of having the close buttons and the windows, etc., on the actual window, they're at the top. It's kind of the same thing. Classic start menu is kind of like our classic one, classic uh, Windows 7 start menu, but it adds the Mac feel to it. Rocky Docs and add our dock, Uber icon, um, with some widgets. YZ shadow for some shadow effects. Uh, disable ribbon so we can disable the ribbon, obviously. Top taskbar, small taskbar, and refresh icon. So once we've done all, I'd suggest having them all clicked to get the full feel. Once you've done with that, go ahead and click install. The first thing it does is it creates a restore point, and it's going to tell us exactly, exactly everything it is doing um, while it's doing it. I highly suggest while it's doing this, do not do anything, because it's just going to speed the process of it. So it shouldn't take too long to do. Um, the speed of your hard drive is obviously going to impact how fast it takes. But as you can tell, I'm running a solid slate drive, and this isn't taking too long at all. Once this is finished, all you have to do is restart your computer for the full effect. Alright, so now that it is done, I highly suggest is clicking next and clicking reboot now. Clicking reboot now is automatically reboot your computer and we can continue off the thrill. So I'm going to reboot my computer and continue on right from when it gets to the desktop. Alright, so I am back with my Mac looking computer. Obviously, from a distance, it looks just like a Mac, and if you look at a first impression, it looks pretty much just like a Mac. Now, obviously, guys, we're in a Windows computer. This is a Windows tutorial. We're not really using a Mac, okay? So we're, we're still going to have um, things that look like Windows that you just can't change. Because if they did, then you'd be running a Mac. So we obviously are kind of right now, we're in the middle. We're in the best of both worlds. We're going to have that Mac look, but the Windows... Um, build. So I'm going to show you guys what you get from the uh, application. We get a, a Rocky Dock, which is our Mac Dock. 
And if you go to the program section here, you have a lot of things you can see that are installed that kind of like give the look to it or etc. Most of these are running at once. So you might see a performance loss in your computer if your computer is on the slower end of computers nowadays. So like I said though, if you're kind of lagging around with your computer, go ahead and click uninstall and go through the uninstall and get rid of it, which I'll be talking about later in the video. Anyways, you have things like X widget. So kind of bring up this right here, I'm gonna click the plus. People who are familiar with Macs kind of know what X widget is. And a lot of stuff, um, basically play around, you're gonna see a lot of stuff here that kind of simulates a Mac. Um, another one I know that I reviewed, which is X Launchpad. It brings this um, iPad filling to the desktop, which is available in the Macs. Basically you can like slide using your mouse, or if you're touching a computer, you can actually slide. But if you don't, you just use your mouse and you click and like pull. And you can add icons here and play around, I guess you could say. Alright, so up here we have our Mac um, icon. If you click on it, it brings up the start menu. Going through our normal files, you're going to see we have um, the Mac icons along with the blue color and the font and all that stuff. So you're going to get the, the best looking version of Windows Explorer. It also moves the, uh, gets rid of the ribbon UI, adds the custom icons. So like I said guys, it's a good, um, makes it look just as close to a Mac as you can. Obviously you can't, but this is pretty close. Along with the finder bar, if you open up something like Google Chrome for example, this up here switches to Google Chrome. Does it actually work? Not really, because when you click on it, it kind of gives you the same stuff no matter what because Google Chrome is built for Windows, so it's not gonna, it's not programmed to give you options up there, so it's gonna keep the options over there, but it still looks good. And that's what we're going for here, looks. So it also changes the file, and but from here though, you can obviously do the, the simple stuff like new file folder and um, edit and copy and paste and all that stuff, so you can, you can do that there, but it's more for looks. When you do minimize, it goes down to the dock, kind of like the uh, Mac, the Mac in real life. Anyways guys, that is about it. Now to uninstall this. Let's say you get tired of this, may install on your computer, whatever the reason is, or you decide you just hate Apple, um, join the bandwagon. Anyway, uh, click the uh, programs and go to uninstall. It's going to bring up this uh, menu right here. And to get rid of everything, just click everything. So just go down. There is no option. I think you can click. There's no option to do all of them at once. So you're going to have to go ahead and click all of them. So go ahead and click all of them. Or if there is some, st I think, I believe there's a, a keyboard shortcut to do this faster, but uh, I can't remember it off my head. And I click them all. And click uninstall again. It will do it all for you. You're done. Look, yes. And that's what it is for this guys. That's how you uninstall it. Anyways, guys, that's what it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't um, for some more awesome Windows customization tutorials uh, ranging from Windows 8 to Windows 7. Anyways, guys, that's what it for this video. Have a great day. See you in my next video, and happy hacking. This is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.